All right, so we're gonna do this quick, and this is PSEI recap. This is what we have observed so market and kung ano yung mga nakita natin no na naging development in the recent week of past marami yung naging development uh, for the short time no na one week and if you are uh, monitoring yung uh, trade war medyo matindi yung mga naging development no so again it has really an effect on our market and uh, as you know medyo mahirap Definitely, napaka mahirap yung market ngayon. Uh, talagang uh, this time of the year, no? talagang uh, nag-uubos. I think yung mga ganitong pagkakataon dito, marami yung nagka-quit. And they decided na hindi na rin magpatuloy sa kanilang trading journey. No? But uh, just like yung mga sinasabi ng mga gurus natin, uh, during the difficult times, yung ka talaga masusubukan. And eventually, uh, this might be the break too na hinahanap mo pagdating sa yung trading. No? Yeah, you just have to hold on. Again, before we do anything, uh, of course, uh, as a practice, no? sa ating channel, we have yung quick word from our sponsor. Uh, this comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 28. I think this is one of the few verses no? talagang uh, Kumbaga, we could really relate, no? Uh, basahin na natin, no? So, do not tell your neighbor, come back tomorrow, and I will provide when you have already had the means. So, napaka, ano, you know, this is one of the fascinating things about the Bible. Uh, it transcends, no? Ibig sabihin, uh, from the past, future, even the present times. So, di ba? If, for example, hinahartalak yung kapitbahay mo, you have the means, no? Of the transportation or vehicle. Pwede mo bang sabihin sa kanya, bukas ka na lang bumalik? Eh, he's he's uh, struggling for his life, no? Matter of life and death. Even comes sa, uh, even sa money, no? Probably he will be, uh, or chasing something, no? Probably gambot na anak niya or mother niya. Or it could be as little things, no? As yung mga tools. Right? So, one of the few things na I've noticed sa Bible is laging pinapoint out yung neighbor. Right? So, probably, di ba? Kung sino yung mga malalapit sa atin, mga kapitbahay natin, usually yung pa yung mga nagiging kagalit natin. So again, I think this is a good reminder to all of us no, not to, to really observe and really reflect no, on the messages and yung mga truths na nandito ito. Right? So, again, uh, I always encourage you to read your Bible and uh, understand no, kung ano yung talagang nandito doon. And you really, really discover no, and that it, this is a really uh, a book that uh, transcend beyond the uh, past, present, future and really, really no, applicable yung kanya mga sinasabi up to this point in time. No? Diba? So, with that, hopefully you, uh, I am able to uh, be a good uh, witness no? kung gaano ka-relevant yung Bible and why you should be reading it uh, right now, no? Or probably develop the reading habits to do so, no? Higyan mo ng oras, no? Napaka-importante nito. Marami kang madidiskubre uh, na iba pa. Right? So, with that, let's now move on sa ating uh, recap. Right, the, ma the market gained 164 points. 7747, we're, we're closing at 7747. And uh, we're currently seeing, no, uh, probably yung negative news, probably nagsing in na sa ating market and uh, institution no? that is buying up yung mga index names sa already discounted, or probably not, no. But uh, one thing is for sure, uh, as I was observing 
sa mga index names, these are the three names, no? Na I think, if there's still, no, magkaroon ng uh, possible uh, continuation of negative sentiment throughout the market, no? Not only just the Philippines, but globally. Uh, I think, no, uh, for local market, these are the three names na I see it uh, probably resisting. No? We have in DMC, AGI, and uh, TEL. No? Uh, surprisingly, no? these are the names. And kung probably this is the bottom part or should I say magkaroon pa ng uh, good news no? sa US-China trade war, probably they could make it some sort of a deal. Uh, I do not, I would not be surprised, no, kung itong tatlo na to would probably uh, push the price somewhere, no. So again, uh, anything that I would say, no, take it with a grain of salt, you are here to, to have an informed decision, no, probably uh, most of you, if not, hindi nakakapagsubaybay sa market, and probably hindi nyo rin uh, natatrack kung ano na yung mga nangyayari, no, because, uh, imagine one day, no? how many disclosures or how many news yung mga itatrack mo. And aside from that, no? ano yung mga relevant na dapat mo tinitingnan. Right, so again, you're here to have a second opinion no? sa market or probably you might agree or might not agree sa aking sasabihin. But again, take it to the grain of salt. Anything that I would say is just a mere probability. Anything can still happen. And again, uh, take responsibility of your trades. I compare to it. Nang sinasabi yan. And uh, until you go beyond the point na wala kayo nang pagsisisihin kundi yung sarili mo, uh, I think, no, it would be very, very, really, really hard for you if not impossible para maging profitable sa trading. So, yun ang aking napatunayan, no. Sa, especially, no, sa sarili ko and even to the others that I've seen uh, successfully uh, trading the market as well. So next on our slide, right? Uh, good thing the seven five we finally did bounce, and uh, tama tama lang no? nandun yung support. So right now, I think all eyes are set sa seven eight fifty no to seven eight area itong red area na to, and uh, let's see no. Kung uh, anything na market mag close above that will take it as a good news. And uh, for now, it's much, much more uh, safer and more defensive. Uh, I think it's going to at least no, hit yung 7, 6 for the meantime. No? Um, the market will uh, move in that direction bago to finally decide itong uh, 7879. No? I think for this week, baka mag-slide down this Monday, Tuesday. And of course, uh, be very, very defensive sa inyong position. So with that, let's now move on sa ating move of the week. Of course, pagka ganito yung market, mahirap, especially mga index names. Uh, medyo uh, walang nagtataasan. We're, we're going to see no, yung mga garbage stocks na ganito mabilis. Uh, paanda rin na uh, talaga ng delay para no? I think this is the ceiling play almost 50% yan in one day no? so again uh, may disclosures to uh, yung uh, I think may listing sila ng another set of uh, stocks no? probably to, to increase yung capital uh, expenditures nila the market uh for some unknown reason, uh, interpreted as a good news and uh, na close na siya, no? 50% within ceiling day. Uh, and no Tuesday, it finally even went no? to 180. And then I think marami yung uh, na trap dun sa area na yon. And it finally did close sa uh, 143 currently. No? So, it's a good opportunity, no? of course, for the traders. But uh, if you're a swing or probably yung. Uh, more of a uh, trend following, I do not uh, think no, no, you should be involved in this kind of trades. Right, so medyo delicado na. Right, so of course, uh, marami yung na trap dito. 
So, medyo mag-ingat-ingat na kayo dito and I think, no, if you are not doing any uh, intraday trading, uh, I think it's much more wise to at least be on the sideline and uh, huwag ka mag-participate sa mga ganito, no. So, again, uh, TKC still, no. At least yun yung ating nakikita para sa kanya. So, again, yung sentiment of market uh, for this week would be neutral and diba uh, we bounce at 7.5 and we're really not really sure no if there's still bad news on the horizon or probably this is uh, the turn that uh, we are waiting for no but uh, be on the lookout no for further development of course if you're doing intraday yung news would be very very minimal impact sa inyong trading but, uh, importante pa rin naman yan. No? Imagine mo if you are uh, still day trading and day trading and then market pa baba na pa baba. Much, much more na mahirap yan gawin, no? Yung day trading. So, again, as your time horizon uh, much gets longer, no? If especially uh, you're doing swing, uh, may epekto na rin sa yan. Right? So, so much more if you are uh, probably doing trend following and even yung mga fundamentally uh, speaking na naging best, no? So, yung news they have to really uh, interpret it, no? Kumbaga sa ano is uh, be on your toes and be very, very ano, no? nimble pagka ganito mga the market's really weak and then yung any bad news is madali siyang uh, bumababa. Alright, so, very recently, we have yung uh, US uh, probably imposing a uh, sanction pagdating sa mga China companies. And if you are uh, really into the news, yung Huawei, one of the phone makers, no, ng uh, China, is uh, been banned. But, binigyan na 90 days and I think no recently uh, parang enough na lift na rin so again in just the span of one week ganun yung mga nangyari and uh, really really uh, affecting us no of course locally we all know na marami ang uh, foreign no and yung mga local naman ng mga Pinoy tayo mga retailers so parang liit lang naman compared sa mga institutions so really really uh, of course sila yung nagdidikta ng sentiment ng market natin. No? So again, uh, at least, we'll take it a good news. No? At least yung 7.5 really resisted. At uh, I think for the whole year, we are really trapped dyan sa, sa range na yan. 7.5 and 8,000. No? And really, really, no? Baga sa ano, let's be on the lookout. Because... China has yet to make a move or counter the move. And, meron pa ba mga susunod na companies na isa-sanction? We don't know. No? And, uh, Google even, no? uh, will be denying more future licenses, no? Kung mag-escalate pa rin, no? But right now, I think, na-leaf yata, no? Yung ban. Even ng 90 days and then parang na-leaf yata yung ban ngayon. I'm not really uh, updated, no, because day to day yung uh, ano nyan, news nyan. So again, these are the stocks that we should be at least watching, no. From last week, no, I think ang nangyari dito medyo ah uh, ano eh, kung bakit all eyes are on, on Pocky. Wala na masaya ibang magandang setup. Lahat na punta sa kanya yung uh, setup, and now the guys who are buying at this range uh, binomba na nila no? uh, dito sa 350 uh, 340 area right now uh, 328 bakit? Uh, ano na ba siya? I think uh, on the negative side na ba? I do not think so no? as long as this uh, support line holds itong green box na to I think we're, we're really still uh, good no? yun nga lang medyo talaga violent shakeout for those short-term traders, no? I think marami yung na-punish dito, no? But if you are, uh, 
medyo may leeway ka sa yung trade you could uh, probably still uh, hold on no as long as hindi ma-breach tong support na to no? we're still good maganda pa rin naman yan no and uh, i think no makikita natin this week kung ano yung magiging decision ng market no but should the trend continues to go down wala kang magagawa you have to protect your capital cut it out no but uh structure wise and then yung uh, sa ma- so lang nangyayari sa company i think this is a double edge uh, sword na on the good side no for pagdating sa pop no and uh sa so structure kasi maganda maganda pa rin naman eh yung pop is still valid pa rin naman as long as hindi na ma-break to no so let's now and see uh ito yung ganun sinabi ko sa inyo sobrang uh few yung setup last week I think uh, yung mga nakapag load up dito uh, decided to uh, sell it no? etong poppy yung kanila mga holdings to to take the quick profit so again GSMI so I think uh, papansin nyo naman yung uh, it finally did close sa 44.50 but look at it uh, I think Pag makikita nyo lang, sobrang laki na ng mga ranges dito. Medyo nagiging delikado na. No? Probably, uh, sa mga susunod na araw, you're gonna see a lot of promotion or uh, probably an- another set of uh, campaign para dito sa GSMI. But, uh, I do not think, no? I do not think na it's really looking dangerous, no? Kapag ganito yung mga pattern na nakikita ako. I, I would really at this point in time shy away no for GSMI and wait for the proper setup no and uh that is our take for GSMI let's now move on no sa isa pang uh, isa pa no sa mga ispatan natin I think we spotted it around 1.30 pa lang something no dito pa lang sa area na to uh, right now uh it's really way up no sa 205 and with this type of uh candlestick formation it's really undecided no so uh, right now i i just i would really tell you na to to be on the sidelines muna no let the bulls and the bears fight it out and uh kusini manalo and uh do ka palang uh mag-aabang no kung saan ka pupesto so again, I think this state of confusion, no? di malaman kung sino yung masusunod. No? The long side or the short side, I think uh, we're going to wait on the sidelines for pen. No? But the good thing is, maganda yung liquidity nitong pen. Eh, no? Right, so currently we see did a good news no? para sa ating ISM. So long overdue na yung turtle ko yan up until now. Wala pa rin tayo nang kita, no? So, we did see some activity but very, very minimal para sa ISM. And we're really, really going to be interested once it close above 7 pesos, no? Dito sa area na to. Would be really, really interesting para sa ISM, no? So, hindi pa naman din ganun kasolid yung movement ng ISM. But it's a good, good thing na meron na rin ako nakikita ng movement, no? Para sa ISM. Again, uh, I'd be more than willing to buy this higher basta ma-maintain niya yung above 7. At least we're, we're, we're gonna pick up some more bull players around this area. And then we're going to try to aim for the next uh, resistance, no? Yung 850. But uh, for me, I think I'd be more than uh, happy to, to, to stay out muna, no? I think the recent news has failed to really capture the imagination ng mga swing traders or even mga day traders. No? So, hindi masyadong naging malakas yung pag-push. But really don't not know, no? Especially, baka maging ito pa yung beneficiaries ng mga China investment. Uh, because, we all know, no? Uh, China is going outside, no? Hindi na siya mag-expand locally and Diba? Yung mga bet and hold initiative nila and then yung mga iba-iba nilang projects. Not only the Southeast Asia but all throughout, no? Even sa Europe and even sa Africa. 
they're investing their money worldwide and we do not know no uh mabiyaya nito aisen but uh keep this on your watch list first all right next on our watch list uh PHA so medyo nagkakaiba na uh, with the support no around this uh, area 0.88.90 nagkakaiba na and uh, for this one no uh, be on the lookout because probably yung uh, bread and butter move na abandon baby reversal pwede mag magano dito no it could strike down a little more before it reverses no and we're just waiting for you confirmation both the uh, candles and the uh, volume no? so i think medyo inip inip na yung mga tao dito and yung support niya na area uh, hindi na gold no so we're going to we're currently seeing fear no uh, gusto gusto na lumabas marami yata yung trap dito sa uh, bull trap na dito uh, Alright, be on the lookout, no? Kasi pwedeng mag uh, yung reversal yan, no? Na yung paborito natin. So, next on our watch list would be IRC. So, we're currently seeing uh, probably, no? It's a good, good thing na probably we're now safe to conclude na yung 160-170 area is uh, temporarily the, the low for this uh, IRC, no? And as long as it's creating a higher low, that is a good, good thing, no? And if you would, do not have yet yung IRC, probably it's much, much higher chance of getting up once it breaks yung 185, 185 area, no? So, I think uh, probably everyone is expecting na uh, si ABB na would be the winner. And nung lumabas na finally yung result, wala masyado yung nagulat no so good thing is i think for the meantime we're we're seeing 160 170 is the current support please no it's holding up as long as it is creating yung higher low no i think that is a good good sign for irc no probably good for position traders no so i think last but not least if i'm correct we have yung fph Right? So, for FPH, if, ito yung kasabayan nito, yung pen, eh, no? In my energy, we also have yung uh, whole seam. Nag-surge na siya. Naunahin pa siya na SSI nun, no? So, right. So, medyo neglected itong stock na to. But, good thing is, uh, nag-hold to, no? Yung support na to. It, it closed last Friday, 76.50. And, uh, among the breakout stocks, no? Recent program. May disclosures to, buyback program. And then, I think, nag-release na rin ang dividend. Probably, this might be the, the might be a catalyst, no? Why this 76.50 is holding. Uh, so, be on the lookout, no? For, for FEH. It's, it's definitely uh, showing support, no? Sa area na to. And you might want to put this on your short list, no? Ng inyong mga stocks na babantayan. So again, uh, maraming salamat sa panonood. Alright, so again, take responsibility of your trades. I could not stress this enough and anything could still happen. And alright, so be patient sa pag the market. It's going to take some time, no? And uh, stick to it, no? I think uh, maraming na ako nakikita, no? Probably uh, started to quit already. And Alright, so just hang in there and learn and be patient. So, all it ulit lang naman yan, simple and simple. And then again, uh, continue to learn. No? So again, maraming salamat sa panonood. This is uh, PSEI Recap signing off.